Big fan of your comedy, man. Thanks, man. You've good taste. Yeah. <laughs> so what's uh, the sharks in this movie now? How much more crazier are they? Well, you know, I haven't seen the movie yet. Okay. And when I filmed, you know, I didn't see that too many sharks. I saw, <laughs> saw a couple little ones and one big one. I didn't see one big one. Okay. But, you know, it's a mix of live effects and uh, effects they do later, you know. So, so I don't know, man, but I'm, I'm excited to see this movie. It's sort of, I was only working for two days on it, but it was fun to do. And I actually campaigned to get myself in it because I'm a fan. Was that because of after the first one that you came well, I had actually contacted uh, Sci-Fi Channel and uh, the Asylum a couple years before Sharknado came out. Um, I live tweeted a shark movie called Malibu Shark Attack, which was a couple years before Sharknado. And I, I'm not sure who made that one. That might have been a different company. But I'm a fan of the genre. And so, and these are kind of movies my agents or manager of the years would never ever submit me on. Even if I would yell at them to, or I never yelled at them. I probably should have. But, but uh, so, when Sharknado 2 came around, I didn't have uh, any. Uh, currently, I've just been doing a lot of stand up. I, I haven't been, uh, so I don't have an acting agent right now, so I contacted them directly, and I actually live tweeted the first Sharknado, and I kind of met the director as I was tweeting that night, because he was tweeting also, and then, uh, so I think after a while they realized I was serious, and I did want to begin, so, uh, and it worked. So what kind of cool stuff did you get to, get to do in the movie? You know, I, I, I get to battle a few sharks, and uh, I get to watch the New York Mets play, and, uh, yeah, got to work with. Yeah, got to work with Ian and uh, Mark McGrath. Really nice dudes. It was a lot of fun. You have a pretty absurd weapon in the movie. Like, what was it like working with that? I mean that uh, ginormous bat. Yeah, that was fun. Man. That was fun. Yeah. You know, in this movie, I'm playing a regular citizen. I don't have superhero power strength like I normally do in real life. So <laughs> I had to improvise and use some weapons. <laughs> yeah. Being that you're a genre fan, are you hoping that this sort of opens the door to being able to do some more horror stuff? Is yeah, like I've done some, you know. Yeah, and it's, you know, I the first movie I saw that was intentionally scary and funny was. Uh, yeah. Can you turn it a bit more towards yourself? Oh, Thank you so much. The, uh, was uh, American Werewolf in London, where it's legit funny and legit scary. I did a movie about nine years ago called Feast, which was Don't legit. Yeah, I'm yeah. one of the main guys in that. I'm a beer guy. In yeah, that. that's so, nice. so that was fun. And then uh, I did a cameo on Return to Newcomb High last year. And I, I, lo I love the horror sci-fi genre, and I, I don't get to do it much. I would love to do more of those. I would absolutely love it. Yeah. Are you planning on doing, uh, since you live tweeted last week, you're going to do live tweeting next week? I'm actually doing stand-up in London while this is going on, while this premieres. So, it might be 4 in the morning there when it premieres on live, but if I'm up, I'll be doing it. Yeah. Now, were your scenes shot in front of green screen at, at points? Like, did you have to do any green screen stuff? All my stuff was on location. Yeah. I think they might still add in some effects afterwards, but they were all... I filmed on the subway, that was in a real subway. Yep. Uh, they may have thrown up a green screen at one point for one or two shots there, I can't remember. But uh, all my stuff was located. Yeah. What are you? Sorry, I was going to say, is there anything in particular that we're going to talk about the shoot? The most difficult stuff was, you know, you basically have 10 minutes on a subway, it's 3 in the morning, and they're kicking us off the subway at 3.10 a.m. And you got to film a, a scene that would normally take eight hours to film, but you got to do it in ten minutes. And that was the toughest thing. And it was very cold. So we were you know, it, was, it was New York's worst winter in here. Uh, yeah. What were some of those reactions from your fans when they heard that you're going to be in this uh, yeah, movie? Yeah, friends were really happy. Yeah, it was like you won the Super Bowl. Yeah, you got a Sharknado <laughs> too. That's awesome. <laughs> And meanwhile, I cut back to you earlier, and uh, agents wouldn't even, I'd mention that, and they'd be like, ugh, we wouldn't even want to talk to you. Yeah. So, so, yeah.
Do you see this as a way of sort of like legitimizing B movies for like mass You know, audience? it kind of has changed, you know, can, you know, and there are certain types of movies that you, know, you can enjoy on different levels, you know, you can love them legitimately, there are parts you can laugh at, there's parts you can laugh with, and, and I've always been, I've always liked movies like that, and I think now people, there's more people that are into that, where people used to just like write stuff off, or they call something a guilty pleasure, and people ask me like, what's my guilty pleasure? I'm like, I don't have any guilt. I just, I like something, I like it. I, so it's just pleasure, you know. So it's like, the movie's so-called, you know, bad or whatever. You know, I, I don't look at it that way. To me, if it's, there's some movies that are just bad, that they're not enjoyable. And there's some movies that you, that, that people, that some people might call bad because they're not going to win any awards or anything, but they're super enjoyable, you know. So, so I hope this, I haven't seen it, but I hope this one's really enjoyable. Everyone certainly worked hard. Thank you, Jim. Thanks, guys.